The blowout preventer, BOP stack, consists of several large valves stacked on top of each other. These large valves are called blowout preventers. Manufacturers rate BOP stacks to work against pressure as low as 2,000 pounds per square inch, or PSI, and as high as 15,000 PSI. That's about 14,000 kilopascals to over 100,000 kilopascals. Rigs usually have two kinds of preventers. On top is an annular preventer. It's called an annular preventer because it surrounds the top of the well bore in the shape of a ring or an annulus. Below the annular preventer are ram preventers. The shutoff valves in ram preventers close by forcing or ramming themselves together. The choke line is a line through which well fluids flow to the choke manifold when the preventers are closed. Even though the preventers shut in the well, the crew must have a way to remove or circulate the kick in the mud out of the well. When the BOP shut in the well, mud and formation fluids exit through the choke line to the choke manifold. The manifold is made up of special piping and valves. The most important valve is the choke. The choke is a valve that has an adjustable opening. Crew members circulate the kick through the choke to keep back pressure on the well. Keeping the right amount of back pressure prevents more kick fluids from entering the well. At the same time, they can get the kick out of the well and put in heavier mud to kill the well, that is, regain control of it. The well fluids leave the choke manifold and usually go to a mud gas separator. A mud gas separator separates the mud from the gas and the kick. The clean mud goes back to the tanks. The gas is flared or burned a safe distance away. When the well takes a kick and the BOPs are open, well fluids force mud to flow up the well bore and into the BOP stack. When the driller closes the annular BOP, flow stops. Usually, drillers close the annular BOP first. The closed annular BOP diverts the flow of the choke line, which goes to the choke manifold. The driller can open a valve on the choke line and safely circulate the kick out of the well through the choke manifold. Here's an annular preventer. An annular BOP closes on drill pipe, drill collars, or any shape of tubular in the well. It can also close on open hole, a hole with no tubulars in it at all. It's usually the first preventer used to close in the well. Here are four types of ram preventers. Pipe rams, blind rams, blind shear rams, and variable bore rams. Pipe rams are used when there is drill pipe in the BOP stack. The pipe rams fit around the pipe, closing off the annulus. Pipe rams back up the annular preventer. That is, in the unlikely event that the annular BOP failed, crew members could shut the pipe rams to seal the well. Also, some pipe ram preventers are used to hang off or suspend the drill string on some CBOPs. Blind rams are designed to seal an open hole. If the annular BOP fails and there is no pipe in the hole, the crew could seal the well by closing the blind rams. Blind shear rams are designed with blades that cut through the drill pipe and then seal the open hole. They are used in extreme emergencies, like when an offshore floating rig has to move off a well they're drilling because of a hurricane or other such emergency. Blind shear rams allow them to cut the pipe, seal the hole, and then move the rig a safe distance away. Variable bore rams, or VBR, are special pipe rams that can close over a range of pipe sizes, such as 5-inch diameter to 3-inch diameter.